cloudy night. And then things are really going to cool off tomorrow. Sunshine, but a high only of 52. It will get a little bit warmer over the course of the next several days. Friday, sunny and a high of 59. We could get a passing shower in the morning on Saturday. Otherwise, clouds and uh, a lot of sunshine and even warmer still above the high of 68. 63 right now. AccuWeather Real Feel at 62. CBS News Brief coming up next. News Brief. This is uh, Acrodyne TRF Radio, typically in 1920s, somewhere in 24, 25, somewhere in there. And if you look all the way to the left, we've got our antenna coil, and it is tuned to the radio station frequency. We've got our antenna, and we got, and the other end goes to ground. The secondary goes to the grid of the first tube, and it is amplifying the radio station frequency itself. The output of that goes to another RF transformer and the secondary of it is tuned to the same radio station frequency. Again it gets amplified, goes to another RF coil or transformer I should say and it is also tuned to the same radio station frequency. But at this point we now have a detector circuit. We have a grid leak resistor of 2.4 meg and a capacitor that goes to the grid of V3. So now V3 is amplifying mainly audio at this point. And that capacitor that's connected to the plate of V3, that capacitor is draining off the RF leaving the audio that goes through the first audio transformer. The secondary of that goes to the next grid of V4. It is amplified, and at this point we could have headphones if we wanted to. Then the signal goes through the next audio transformer, and we have another capacitor. It's a bypass. It is actually shorting out any RF that's left, and we have practically nothing but audio at this point. And V5 amplifies it and ships it out to usually a horn speaker in 1924 and 25. Now, what I want to point out here that's something a little different is this. This resistor of 330 ohms is connected right across the A battery, which is the battery for the filaments. And what it varies, it varies the voltage from zero to about six volts, typically, or five volts. Typically, they used a car battery. And that DC gets impressed through the coils, the first two secondaries, to the grid of the first two tubes. The more positive the grid, the more this, the tubes will amplify and the less uh, positive or more negative, they won't uh, amplify as much. This is the first time I have seen this in a 1920s radio, where they were actually changing the bias voltage on grids. I have never seen this before. And the few people that I talked to, I need to talk to some more, they thought that was pretty interesting. Compromise labor agreement reached in September. He says the bipartisan vote shows that they agree a rail shutdown would be devastating to our economy and families. Severe weather 
in the South has been blamed for at least two deaths in Alabama. It's also wrecked several homes, knocked out power, and caused widespread damage on roads and highways. Keith Barnett is emergency management director in Elmore County. Here's a top view of the radio. And you can see the variable capacitors, they're easy to see. And right behind them are the RF coils. And they're all three of them are green. That's very typical for this 1920s radio. And here is the tube layout. All the way to the left, the first uh, green coil, that's the antenna coil. Then we got V1, then the next RF, and then V2, and the next RF. And the uh, V3 is the detector. And then we've got an audio transformer between V3 and V4. That's on the other side. We'll see that in a little bit. And V4 amplifies the audio and goes through another audio transformer to V5. And V5 goes to your horn speaker. This is what the wiring looks like, this radio. And you can see the, the five tubes, the two at the top are the RF. And um, if you look all the way over to the right, there's something that looks like a fuse. That's actually the grid leak resistor. Here's a closer look at the two audio transformers. And here is a better look at the grid leak resistor and the capacitor is right beneath it. That's what those square things are. Those are capacitors. Slow down because you may come around a corner and there may be a tree in the road. Utility crews are also working to restore power lines. CBS News Brief. I'm Monica Ricks. I don't even have an antenna on this. Here's the antenna coil over here. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.